So I moved a couple of dahlias outside. Well, I already have some out, but I moved these ones from the dining room out here to this table. And then I have dahlias in there. They've been in this um, greenhouse for about a week now and they've done really well. So I'm excited. My frost free date is today. So actually, yeah, after today is my frost free date. So I'm excited to get things outside. The weather looks promising. Um, should it change and freeze on us, I'll have to move all of this stuff back inside for a short time. But for now, everything's out. Well, not everything, but these few dahlia are out. And then those things, I'm gonna move those out of the greenhouse in to the, this table. So I have this white table that we've had for a while and I use this to kind of transition plants. So they start in here on this table. It gets sunlight throughout the day. And then I move them to the outside where they'll get more direct sun but it's a process. So you wanna make sure that you transition properly, slowly but surely. That way your plants um, won't burn in the sun and hopefully will be more successful for you. So let's go ahead and do a raised bed garden tour. I'm excited to show you guys what's going on outside. Let's head over. We'll start this way with this trellis right here. So I've got a couple things in this space. I've got my um, kiwi, my hardy kiwi. There are two in this pot. So I have a male and a female. Hoping to get some kiwi this year. Down here I have a raspberry and I thought this was dead like it took forever to wake up and now it's like fully bushed out so i'm so excited this is a container variety so it's not going to get uh as big as a standard um raspberry bush will here is one of the figs that um i showed you guys in an overwintering video it has not um you know it has not woke up so i think it's probably dead i don't think it made it so I'm gonna to toss that in the compost here soon. And this bed has strawberries in it. And I planted these um, in this bed and then the bed down there last fall because I wanted to have two permanent spots for strawberries. So they look super good. And then this bed right here, this bed is covered in a deer netting and it's got the PVC pipe, and I think um, this stuff will be in here probably for uh, through June for sure. And then I'll probably move some of this out to plant some other things because I, I want to make this bed be mainly um, like leafy greens, not necessarily like salad, but like kale, um, all different types of kale actually but the pak choy is almost done. I have to harvest the last few because they are trying to go to seed on me. So yeah, they've been in this bed since March, I think is when I started that. But yeah, you could just see how gorgeous everything looks. The carrots are doing really well. The carrots are on the edge. They look wonderful. I need to thin them here soon. The lettuces are beautiful. I'm so obsessed with the lettuce this year. So this bed right here is empty. Now this bed, this bed has been covered with plastic the whole time because I ran out of deer netting and I keep forgetting to grab some. But this bed under plastic is doing like so amazing. We have spinach. I've got ranunculus on the outside. I've got the thyme right here, lemon thyme. My Swiss chard is just now starting to take off. I think it was get, not getting enough light because of the um, black seeded Simpson lettuce I had gotten so big and the, the leaves kind of just towered over everything else. I've got it interplanted with carrots through here. 
so they're kind of getting not much sun so as i come in to harvest i'm harvesting from the bottom of the lettuce to allow more light to come through and then it, it allows you to extend your harvest so we're not harvesting like the whole um, lettuce at any one time I've got some ornamental kale out here. I'm waiting for these to turn into like a flower. That's what they're supposed to do, look like a flower. Anyway, so outside of that, we've got some beets. And then this is ranunculus. And it seems, I don't know if it's like late for ranunculus or not, but um, mine are still they're they haven't flowered yet but they're going i'm just gonna see what happens then i've got flowering kale out here there's some carrot carrot down all through the spot there so yeah this bed is doing really really well i highly recommend doing the winter sewing and using the plastic and pvc and then even with the deer netting on the cold nights like the they did so well there there wasn't any you know frost issues the plants bounced right back you know once the temperatures warmed up and they're beautiful they look great so i have a pot of strawberry here and i'm so excited because the strawberries are blooming they look happy and last year i had them all in those stackable dollar tree towers and I accidentally knocked the tower over. So after I knocked the tower over, um, I just decided to move them out. So we've got the, the pots here, the two beds there, and then a random cloth planter over there with strawberry. Right here is my garlic bed that I planted last year. Um, this will be ready to harvest in July, end of June, July-ish, I will. Um, get to harvesting this and I actually need to clean those leaves out of there I haven't haven't had the chance to just yet and this fencing here this is to protect it from squirrels um, it does protect from squirrels but it doesn't protect from chipmunks getting through there to dig so there are some little small holes where they've been digging let me come around this way so this is what the beds the setup looks like here and this bed over here has sweet peas along this trellis um, I'm trying to decide I think this bed I'm just gonna do all bush beans um, and then just keep reseeding them every couple weeks so that we have a continuous harvest and then here is that strawberry um, pot right here in the fabric pot and it, it this strawberry has been in this pot since last year so it's doing pretty well my goals with this garden this year the, at least the raised bed gardening and vegetable gardening is to just focus on the things that we really love to eat um, I felt like last year and the prior year I was kind of all over the place with you know what I was growing and everything was all mixed in the together in the beds and it was just a mess so this year i'm focusing on growing healthy greens growing beans um we've got the lettuces i'm going to be trying some root vegetables so i've got some kohlrabi that i want to start i've got carrots and beets and radishes so i want to try my hand at those this year and let's go over here to the last two beds. Here are our big beds. And I got two garlic that came up over here. I planted more, but there's only two that popped up. So I'm guessing the rest are kind of uh, dead, maybe. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure the plan for these beds, but I do want to, if I decide to grow uh, greens in these beds I will be using the deer netting to cover them in some way I'm also planning on getting um, cattle panel and making an arch between these two beds I did that the first year we were here the first year we built these beds and I loved it and I had actually a cherry tomato that climbed 
that cat the panel that we have before um but the panel it was made out of it was made from this stuff so it's not very stable or sturdy that's why i want to get the cattle panel because it's a little bit more sturdy it can hold a little bit more weight but yeah so that's pretty much what's going on in these beds as far as any vegetables growing this one is completely empty um, i've added compost and fertilizer to it i'll probably add a little bit more soil just to build it up but these beds we um, are three by six yeah i think they're three by six and we the bottom half of it we filled with sticks yard debris um all kinds of stuff that we had lying around and then on top of that we filled with compost and soil and so that was about two years ago so i'm, I'm guessing down here it's broken down quite a bit so yeah that's it for the edible portion of this tour and you guys let me know if you have any questions about our raised beds um the season's just getting started so i i wanted to do like an early tour so we can watch the progress you guys let me know if you have any questions i'll see you in the next video bye